Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Dio Ideology, a photographer based in Nigeria. So today I'll be teaching you how to create a watermark or better say a signature for your images and I'll be teaching you how to add those signature in Photoshop. So a signature just helps you brand your image, better still copyright your image so that people don't steal your image or something and it also helps you to for proper identification so if somebody see your image and they see the watermark on it they know oh this this guy actually created this image so without wasting our time let's just go and um kill it <laughs> So guys, the first thing first is to create a new document. So you just create a new document. So you can just go to file and click on new. So creating a new document and um, I want it in um, in landscape. Um, I want it transparent because we're going to be exporting a PNG and. Um, I think that's okay for now okay take this to 300 and click create so yeah so next thing is to download um, a font um, using um, a website called the font so quickly let me just open my web browser my web browser here yeah. and just click on um, DA in your search button just click on the font the font and enter so the very first one you see www.dafont.com click on it Let's see and there are different categories as you can see it's fancy for me look techno strictly basic scripts so under the script there is one that is suitable for for watermark so i just click on handwritten handwritten so under um so when you're on under, under this preview so i just like to type my brand name see d a o caps logs ideology ideology then once i'm there i just click on enter cool so it brings out different different fonts that you could use so let me just let me just click on one that i really like click on two and see there are a lot of options you could click from i think over 500 i guess as you can see this is 519 and stick counting so i just look for something nice that i could use let me see huh. not like this let me just click one more my theory so let me see Mm. Uh, I still haven't made my decision yet so let me just let me just take on a random role for this tutorial because if I should continue looking I will spend a lot of time trying to decide which one fits better let me just click on this one here I think I like I like this I like this don't question my taste though <laughs> I just there are a lot of beautiful fonts out there in the fonts. So what I'm doing, I just click on download. So and it says free for personal use, definitely. So once it's done downloading, and uh, the next thing I do is I I want another word. So so the ideology. Once I'm done, I want the ideology photography. So once I'm done, I just click on photography. Photograph then click on enter so uh, I, I just want something light and straightforward I don't want something to um, I 
think I like I like this this is just simple and straightforward so once I'm done I just click on download yeah so we have two fonts here downloaded so So let me just open showing folder. Try to extract these files here. Okay. So I'll open here. So once I'm done, I just click on the file, right click, no, open, then install MS style. I'm as as the name of the font. Done. Yeah, so my second one is downloaded KG Miss underscore Kidagatin. So I'll come here and extract also. Same way. Preview and just preview. Then install. Okay, so. Once I'm done, I go back to Photoshop. So I create a text. Text. And um, I type in, I type in my, um, my name, D E O. Caps logs ideology. So, country A, change this to black from here. So, you guys can see. Okay. So, once I'm done, uh, we we'll change the font size. I can double click on this part to highlight. I'm sorry, I did that twice. So double click to our light. Then I think the name of the file is Amesta. Amestaya. Amestaya. So as you can see, this is it. Amestaya. Cool. So once I'm done, I could just I could just control T and try to increase the size. Then um, click here. Let me see what other things we could do to this. Then click on this part here. Then um, try to reduce. Let's say this. Maybe increase the size to increase. Cool. And just to minus. Uh, I want to jump back to. And. Um, the size okay as you can see as I control those those parts it increases yeah you can just go back with control T to enlarge then I think I like it this way once I'm done Another text. Photography. To graphy. Control A. Okay. I'll just do this. Control C. To transform photography. So once I'm done, once I'm done, I just just come here same thing we did i think i've forgotten the name let me just go back and check the the name of my fonts i downloaded kg miss kindergarten let's try kg okay. 
sorry kg miss kindergarten so stone c that's done ctrl t try to reduce the size I'll try to increase the space between each word. Let's click here. Let's drop down. Say, yeah, cool. So I try to increase the space between each word. I say, each, did I just say each word? Each letter, rather. Each letter. I try to increase the space between each letter. So I think we'll do 200. Okay, cool. Uh, we can we could we could take it higher say 300 uh, 300 is a little bit too much so let's just do between 250 cool 250 yeah, cool to move your selection Okay, reduce the size a little bit. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So guys, this is just a simple way of creating a watermark. So once once you are done, I like this it's pretty much simple and straightforward. So once you're done, you could just right come here, file let's see export then save for web legacy so this is the export so this is save for web legacy make sure that you are on png not jpeg i do png 24 okay then i click on save then The use watermark. The use watermark. So I click on save. So this is the this is the watermark we created. The ideology. As you can see, we saved as PNG. So to enable us to place on whatever you want to place it on. So it's it's a transparent background. So it it carries no background as i received it as png format very very important make sure you see your, your watermark as png for you to be able to place on background so guys thank you for watching to the end of this video if you are new to my channel please kindly subscribe and also turn on the notification bell icon for you to be the first to be notified anytime i post a new video yeah it's bye for now and peace